Justice is a concept deeply embedded within the pages of the Bible. From the cries of the oppressed to the righteous judgments of God, justice is a central theme that resonates throughout scriptures. The Bible says in Micah 6, 8, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. If you're feeling wronged, if you're feeling that justice is far from you, remember Psalm 37, 28. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his faithful ones. So what is leading your desire for justice? Is it personal? Is it societal? Is it a godly passion for righteousness in this world? Isaiah 117 instructs us, Learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. Let us approach the throne of grace today, praying for justice, for God's intervention, and for righteous leadership in our world. Father, the righteous judge of all the earth, we come before you acknowledging your supreme authority. You are the embodiment of true justice. Lord, in a world filled with injustice, where the marginalized are often forgotten, and where the innocent sometimes suffer, we cry out to you for intervention. Your word in Proverbs 21.15 says, When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. We ask today for justice to roll down like a mighty river in our lives, in our communities, and in our world. Father, many among us have been wronged, faced discrimination, felt the sting of injustice. We cling to your promises, knowing that in Deuteronomy 32, 4, you are described as the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. A God of faithfulness and without iniquity, just and upright is He. We pray for those who bear the heavy yoke of injustice. We intercede for those who don't have a voice, for those trapped in systems of oppression, and for those who silently suffer. You see them, Lord. You hear their cries. May they find solace in Psalm 140, 12. I know that the Lord secures justice for the poor and upholds the cause of the needy. Lord, we ask for leaders who embody your principles of justice. Raise up righteous men and women in positions of authority, individuals who won't skew scales or pervert justice for personal gain. Let them heed the wisdom found in Proverbs 29. 4. By justice, a king gives a country stability, but those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. And Lord, as we seek justice, let us not be consumed by bitterness or vengeance. Guide our hearts, ensuring our motives align with yours. Romans 12:19 reminds us, Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. Help us, Lord, to play our part. While we pray and wait on you for justice, let us also work towards it. Let us stand against oppression, speak out against wrongdoing, and be a beacon of light in a sometimes dark world. And as we close this prayer, we reflect on Amos 524, a hope and a call. But let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never-failing stream. May our prayers today catalyze a move of your spirit, igniting a passion for justice in our hearts and our world. Righteous judge of all creation, in times where the scales of justice seem imbalanced, we turn to your unwavering truth. You, who have always championed the cause of the oppressed, let our hearts mirror your deep love for justice. As we navigate a world where right and wrong often blur, be our guiding light, 
pointing us towards unwavering fairness and truth. Empower our leaders with integrity, discernment, and a commitment to justice for all. Keep our spirit steadfast in the face of adversity, ever trusting in your promise that righteousness and justice are cornerstones of your kingdom. May the words of Micah 6, 8, be our anthem, to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly beside you. In our actions and intentions, let us be a reflection of your heart, where justice reigns supreme and love is the guiding force. In the powerful and just name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Subscribe to Empowering Daily Prayers for a guided journey of spiritual upliftment.